Achtung, Davre langs de velden, voor ons dierbaar rood en wild. Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. Lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a relic of the glory that was and what may be to come. Perhaps for one of these. We are, of course, at the Johan Cruyff Arena, recently renamed in honour of the man most considered the father of total football, the greatest player ever to have worn, the red and white of Ajax. So it's back, bigger and better than ever before. We hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Well, the biggest show in town just now, Peter, and everyone wants to be a part of it. Uh, a competition that seems to draw out the, the whole gamut of emotions. And in keeping with that, we've got an atmosphere with a real sense of enthusiasm here. And uh, I'm hoping we get lift off once this game kicks off. the way and it's Tadic Tadic good challenge he just stood firm good clearance and very necessary fires from distance and that will sail harmlessly past well Peter I would say it was worth a try To foul, yeah, referee's given it. It's not taking him long, and that's going to be a booking. It's a brilliant interception. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. He gets a real chance! How's that for a goal? A finish right from the top draw! And Ajax take the lead! Oh, it's lovely to see the art of disguise alive and well, but the keeper straight into no man's land. Ajax will have an early lead. Good start. Robertson. It's got through to him. Done very well to intervene. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. And Dyke tries to get it forward quickly. And here's Roberto Firmino. Tries lifting it over. Tries a shot! Really well taken goal. 
Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Liverpool grab the equaliser and we're all square. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback. And this is the question that's a foul. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. That's not the ball he wanted. Gomez switches it towards the other side. And here's the chance to counter. He's played him through. Tadic going through. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Forward it goes. It's a fat... It's Tadic! He's done very well to get to that. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah! But by that far, Mohamed Salah really felt he'd done enough. He's having a momentary visit to the world of disbelief here. Tadic. Ball through needs to be... It's one! Goal! Ajax! And they get themselves in front! Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Yeah, he just calmly faced the keeper and waited. It became a, a who blinks first situation. And for me, there was never any doubt as to who was going to come out on top. So we have a breakthrough, now how will things develop from here? Robertson. Gets into a dangerous position. Alexander-Arnold. And it's got through. Firmino, delivery from Firmino. Promise plays it forward. That's been one straight back. And the half-time whistle goes. Oh, a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, 
from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, we've had plenty to go on in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in the, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right match. Ajax head into the half-time break with a narrow lead, two goals to one. And we're already back on the... Has a pop! defending but that'll do that's the Chamberlain drives it forward and it's played forward he's one on one Liverpool get it back again tries a lob lovely idea just didn't get it right Mohamed Salah certainly had to make his mind up quickly and he rushed it and here's Roberto Firmino not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then a couple of his teammates were very annoyed and it's Salah can't get the better of his opposite number this defence is, is weary about opposition pace so they're just not getting too tight yeah they know that if they, they step up their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier out to the left it goes just brushed off the ball there a reprieve albeit perhaps momentary goes for it oh bang on target right through the middle big chance are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. That has changed the dynamic somewhat. They've seen the light and the opposition have been left in the dark. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Tries to dink it in. He's made sure that that won't get through. Oxlade Chamberlain. Salah. Mane. Goalkeeper's ball. Locks it in gently. Now it's Mane. Walk forward. How does he try from here? And through to the goalkeeper. Jordan Henderson. Robertson. Fine Eldon. And here's Money. That intervention was very necessary. A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its turn. Hoists it forward. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle.
pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day 